A Northwest company has signed a deal that could lead to the production of a Star Wars mosquito defense system. As Mark Markovich shows us, the invention uses lasers to zap the mosquitoes before they even bite. It's the world's deadliest bug, carrier of malaria and a campground crasher. But this bloodsucker has met its fate. A laser that can smoke off its wings in flight, the ultimate bug zapper. We had a bunch of physicists around and they had this sort of giggling moment. They said, hey, let's use cameras and laser beams. And everyone said, laser beams, how cool. Yeah. So, so we built one. And bolted their WMD, weapon of mosquito destruction, to the ceiling of their Bellevue laboratory. To look down the room uh, over 100 feet away at a fish tank full of mosquitoes. They call it the photonic fence. We can find the mosquito, identify it, target it, and then steer the laser on top of it. Capable of killing dozens of mosquitoes in seconds using a combination of cameras, mirrors. In this prototype, the kill laser has been replaced by a laser pointer for demo purposes. We can even tell if it's a male or a female mosquito. The female mosquitoes beat their wings at a different wave, a different free, uh, frequency than the, the male mosquitoes. And it's the females that suck the blood and carry diseases. Back in the lab, they even grow their own. I, I'm just afraid that the top will come off <laughs> and it's all over at that point. Yeah. It's not that far-fetched to think that we could use computers and lasers to find one insect at a time and make a decision to kill that one insect as opposed to killing everything in an area. Or spreading pesticides everywhere. It's intended for third world countries where malaria carrying mosquitoes kill 600,000 kids a year. Think of it as a gigantic mosquito swatter. When a mosquito flies across it, it's gonna get zapped by the laser. But it can also be programmed to defend crops from insects. Like white flies in apple orchards or beetles in vineyards. News of the new partnership with Florida-based Lighting Science means the photonic fence can go into production for use in Africa or in your backyard, smoking those skeeters. That was Matt Markovich reporting the photonic fence has only been tested in a laboratory setting. The company will now start building prototypes for the field.